One million a month in t-shirt sales. Can this company do it? This is quite a crazy title and I want to explain it to you. Firstly, this is just merch by Amazon. So I'm talking about one million in merch by Amazon. Secondly, this one million is revenue. However, however, this company is selling their t-shirts at quite a premium. So their profit is really, really high. So it wouldn't surprise me if their profit is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands and I haven't fully analyzed every single t-shirt, so it wouldn't surprise me if they've already hit one million in sales in profit every single month. So who am I talking about? Well, Disney have jumped on the print-on-demand bandwagon, especially with merch by Amazon. We all know who Disney is. They own Star Wars, Marvel, Fox, and so many other things. And it looks like they want a piece of those Father's Day trend shirts. And the best way to do that has been merch by Amazon because they haven't had to have them created in a factory and made in bulk and then try and sell them. Yes, they're making less money, but now they just quickly put them on Amazon. And because, you know, they're them, they get tons of sales. Well, Disney is worth over 300 billion. So you could ask yourself, why on earth are they selling t-shirts on Merch by Amazon? And quite frankly, I think it's a very small team, very, very small team, and there was an individual or a few individuals on the team who suggested this idea, and they went for it. And even if you know they're making a million profit every single month, for them, that's not a crazy amount of money, but it's still, a good amount of money for someone, you know, to say, look, this idea is making this much, is generating this much income. That's pretty cool. This is a map of all the company Disney owns. And you can see the potential they have here. They've got Marvel in the top left. They've got Star Wars. They've got, well, 21st Century Fox. And it shows you here, there's a key. And it's quite a cool key. You've got films, television, music, gaming, finance, theater, there's so much stuff. So everything in red is film, right? And all of these are film. And it's crazy how much they own, right? And their potential for, you know, t-shirts and print on demand and branded products. Well, we know most of their sales, are, I don't want to say most, but a lot of their sales is from merchandise. But it makes so much sense for a company like this to put their merchandise on a platform like Amazon that already gets so much traffic, that has so much trust, and they've just got their name and now they've combined their name with Amazon and it's a win-win situation. So far, all the t-shirts that I've worked out have been Star Wars related, right? Now, they have other companies and guess what? They have now started as well doing t-shirts for Marvel. This t-shirt alone is earning over 200,000 in revenue, which is crazy. And that's why I think they've probably already hit the 1 million in profit mark just from merch by Amazon sales. Now, originally what baffled me was why on earth would a company like this want to have their shirts sold through Merch by Amazon when they can easily do the whole thing themselves and 5X their profit? Well, after thinking about it and realizing, you know, Amazon Merch is just an easy solution for them. Yes, the profit is low, but the amount of work involved it, it, there isn't really that much, right? They have probably a few individuals working on that department, on that team, doing all of the t-shirt designs, doing all that kind of stuff. And they're probably using a lot of t-shirt designs that they are selling, you know, in stores, in shops. The only difference is now they're actually selling some trendy t-shirt designs like Father's Day and Mother's Day and, you know, the, the Gay Pride Month and all these things. They're just doing these extra little things. But because, you know, they have this huge company, it's making massive impacts. So now let's have a look at some of their designs, some of their t-shirts, see how much they're making, see what they're doing. And I want to say, let's not try and copy them because obviously we can't, they're trademarked. But as well as that, you're going to see why they're in a different ball game to us, right? And that's because one, they don't need all the keywords. Two, their designs are, you know, based on famous, popular characters. And three, their listings are simple. Their listings are really, really really simple and well last one four they can charge a premium right instead of having to sell a t-shirt for 30 or 14 dollars they can sell it for 20 because it's you know disney all right first things first is this one yoda best dad it's it's not even like a crazy good design it's nothing you know out of this world but it's a father's day design done by star wars right and you can see the keywords they've used father's day star wars t-shirt for men women boys girls father's day so they have used a few keywords nothing crazy they're not keyword stuffing because 
Like I said, they don't need to. They've got Star Wars, Yoda, lightsaber, best dad, Father's Day. Right, those the t-shirts obviously there, but that comes with merch Amazon. And you can see that's there. Now this is a number one bestseller. It has 43 ratings. So ratings really don't make such a big deal, but you can see official Star Wars merchandise. And if we visit the Star Wars store, you'll see it's a, an official store, right? This is all their official stuff. And it's quite cool, but I know, I know what, what you wanna see. You wanna see how much this shirt is making. And it's actually kind of crazy. Selling at 19.99, which is a lot of money, right? That's a huge profit margin for them. They are making, let's have a look, 36,765 sales a month at 19.99. That's an estimated revenue of 734 thousand dollars a month now i do know that it's because it's june and and may and june father's day sales will be absolutely insane and they're not going to get these sales next month but i can guarantee you they are still going to be getting a ridiculous amount of sales so i mean they're earning over a hundred and fifty thousand in profit just from this t-shirt every single month and again we're not trying to compare ourselves to disney this is just stupid to compare ourselves but what we can do is see the potential that years and years and years of branding can bring and of course it's not just years and years of branding i'm not expecting anyone to make the next you know disney company with the the, the theme parks and the movies and all of these different things but it's cool to know that there is a serious amount of traffic on Merch by Amazon that, you know, there's nearly 40,000 people just buying this one. There's probably millions of people buying shirts every single day on Merch by Amazon and there's plenty of space for you as well. All right, so this one is, like I said, 734,000. The next one, this is the Marvel one, right? And this I thought was cool as well. This I said in the video was earning, just a second ago, was earning over 200,000, but actually it's not, it's earning over 360,000 with 18,000 monthly sales. And you can see again, they're charging 1998 because they have that brand recognition, they can charge a premium, right? So they're earning 360,000. So, you know, with 18,000 sales, they're probably earning 50, 60, 70,000 in profit. It's just crazy. It's got a few more ratings here, but again, you've now got the Marvel store as well. So this was the Star Wars store that, that I showed you. Um, where is it gone? Well, it was here a second ago, right? You've got the, this was, this is now the, the Marvel store, right? And this, you can see Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, National Geographic. They've got so much stuff. It's endless. It is absolutely endless. And let's have a look at another Father's Day one, right? So this one. It's not doing as well, best dad in the galaxy. Again, very simple design. This literally looks like someone on their team has just been watching some YouTube videos maybe and come up with some sort of design. It's just mad. And this one's earning, well, they're selling for 19.99. It's got 173,000 in revenue. So it's just crazy. But, but I want you to show you that not all shirts are doing crazy sales, right? For example, this one, right? This is just a tank top with the Marvel for the, the gay pride, right? Now, this is only getting 1,426 in revenue. They're not really getting any sales, 62 sales a month. Not really such a big deal. But because they have such a huge, huge range of t-shirts and some are absolutely crushing it, that is why I think they are earning you know, over a million every single month. So now that we've seen you know, those designs and we've just tried to you know, realize hundreds and thousands are being made on Merch by Amazon by one company, what can we learn from this? Well, firstly, we can learn, let's not compare ourselves to Disney because that's just gonna make us depressed. But you know, we can also learn the importance of brand recognition, right? Disney wasn't always this. Disney had to start from somewhere, and in fact, its first two films kind of failed a bit. It didn't do so well. Eventually, they made Steamboat Willie, which is what created this Disney brand. You know, that's what started it. Um, that was their first successful movie, you could call it. But they've spent years and years and years on brand recognition, creating characters or maybe buying other people's uh, work. But what I'm saying is here, what we can learn is the importance of building and creating a brand that is recognizable, that people will relate to and will want to be a part of. And then, you know, selling t-shirts, selling anything down the line just becomes so much easier. Now, I had a really cool idea. If you are part of a company already, 
why don't you suggest to them, you know, to do their own branded line of t-shirts and you could manage the whole thing. You could design the whole thing. So this, of course, would only work if you're with a company that has a bit of a following. But if you are, you know, even if it's a small following, like 50,000, 100,000, whatever it is, you could easily suggest to them, you could pitch them this idea. It's no like, it doesn't really cost them very much. Maybe it will cost them a bit of your time to create the designs and upload them, but that could be really cool. And even on the flip side, if you don't work for a company who has a brand, you could make it part of your side hustle, part of your job, right? To cold call or message various companies and say to them, look, I know you already have, you know, t-shirts and branding and that kind of stuff, but I want to be able to expand your brand onto Amazon and this kind of stuff. And you can tell them what their profit would be and all these different elements and aspects and all of that kind of stuff. And then you can start running other people's t-shirt branded um, stores. It's it's a bit like social media managing, right? So you know how you can contact people and manage their Instagram pages, right? And you could have 10 clients managing all their Instagram pages. Well, how cool would it be if you had 10 clients, you know, big companies um, that have a brand following, all that kind of stuff, and your job is to manage all their different t-shirt lines on Amazon Merch, right? They would sign up for Amazon Merch with, you know, their credentials, which would be easy they'd get accepted almost immediately with their brand and their following and all of that kind of stuff and then you would create the designs upload them and manage all of that side of it that could easily be a great job and now i know that's not a traditional print on demand job but sometimes you've got to deviate from the path especially when the original path is becoming so saturated or oversaturated you need to try and think of new avenues new new paths to kind of bring in money so I just want to end by saying thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked that idea. Let me know in the comments what you think down below. And of course, I can't wait to bring more of these review analyzing videos for you because I find them so helpful. Just being able to see what other companies are doing right, what other companies are doing wrong and what we can learn. And that's pretty much why I, you know, read books all the time and all this kind of stuff is because I like to see what other people are doing so I can see what I can learn from them. And that's why I think these, these videos are you know valuable in that sense but anyways thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed please smash that subscribe button i'm so close to 50,000 subscribers so uh, yeah thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one